many of us dream of having a beautiful English-style cottage garden, but we aren't quite sure where to start. And today, I received a cry for help from a very unlikely place, a florist. Let's come and meet her. Hi, Graham, you made it. <laughs> Certainly did. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at the anemones, the gladdies. I guess this is not where the problem is, Ramona. No, the real problem is at home, where my garden needs some TLC. Well, I can see you're a professional in the floristry department. Let's see if we can help in the gardening department. It's a lovely day back at Ramona's place, and I'm keen to see just how we can help. Well, what's happening here? Not much with a cottage garden. No, not much at all. Quite neglected. No time. I've got four teenage children. So what have you tried? Well, I've planted gardenias all along the veranda. They're looking yellow and they look like they're dying. What would you like if you, your dreams could come true? I'd love lots of flowering plants, obviously. Will you help us sort of clear it out and get, get a bit of a start on it? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. I've got a gift for you. Oh, pink gloves. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I came prepared. <laughs> It's not a huge space to clear out, and a few hands make light work. Okay, now this must be where the princesses sit. Sure is. <laughs> I haven't done anything like this in ages. <laughs> but you're doing a good job, you're going well. And first up, we need to define Ramona's new garden. The secret to a cottage garden and all the ones we've seen around Australia and around the world is nice wide beds. The wider the beds, the more planting you can get in. And we're going to have a nice little random sandstone pathway. Sounds Done. Good. Now look, the next thing, once you've got big beds, Perennials and annuals and all that colour that you're mm. after needs really good soil. And this has got lots of compost, manure in it. The other thing is they like well-drained soil. So it'll give the plants a good head start. Brilliant head start. Okay. See, your thumbs are turning green there you already. Go. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> it sure is, Ramona. And here come the flowers. Well, what do you think? Oh, it's amazing. The colours are beautiful. Aren't they fantastic? Yeah. There's no real rules in a cottage garden, but the best way to do it is to block the colours together. But Ramona, you'd know that, of course, from floristry. Yeah, it's like when we're making a bouquet, we use uh, the same colour in clusters. It really stands out. It has that wow effect. That's what we're wanting to do in your yeah, garden. Yeah, <laughs> great. That's great. Those old urns of Ramona's are back to live another day. They'll add structure and height. It's handy, while the plants are still in their pots, to place them in the colour arrangements that you like. You can move the colours around, the tall ones at the back. At the front here, we've got this beautiful orange and the red. This is a double form of Kalankoe. It's actually a succulent, as you can see from the leaves. Now, the orange we've replicated with a little perennial wallflower. They now call it Arisimum. You'll see it on the labels in the nurseries. And lavender. Not only do they have beautiful flowers, but lovely grey, soft, delicate foliage all year round. I just love the combination of colours, especially the bright pink bursts of colour of the daisies. Ah, oh, they're the heucra. Aren't the veins of the leaves beautiful? They're gorgeous. Is that what they call variegated or not? Yeah, variegated yeah. heucra, that's it. OK. With the flowers in, the guys can get to work laying a bed of sand for, well, our sandstone path. Now, even though all the planting's finished, the job's not done till you've given everything a good drink. And in the case of these beautiful flowering plants, a feed as well. And when I say feed, I mean power feed. It's made by the sea salt people, so you know it's good. Now, it's got the extra nutrition these plants are going to need. It's a fast-acting liquid that's taken up by the leaves and by the roots. These plants are absolutely going to thrive. Just a bit of formal urn work at the end. Now, this is beautiful Buxus balls here. Add a couple of new pots too. And just look how all this amazing colour lights up Ramona's veranda now. Ramona, what do you think? Wow, it's beautiful. And three Gorgeous. of the four children. So is that your cottage garden? It's amazing. I love it. You guys all like it? Yeah, it's really, really awesome. 
good. I like it. I love well, the sandstone path too. Nice little pathway, yeah. yeah. The annuals, of course, like the primules, they'll die down, but they'll seed and you'll get those back next year because okay. you always get freebies. Now, the foxgloves, they'll come and go and up and down Beautiful. for years. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And don't be afraid to cut the flowers, put them in a vase inside. By the end of the season, it's just going to be a huge ball of wow, colour. Wow, beautiful. Ramona, you enjoy your garden, most importantly. Thank you. No, I will, for sure. This is Thank beautiful. You.